part five, part five, let's bring this week to a close. Again, this week's question was, when it comes to team building, do you believe team leader, the team leader is a team manager first, then works his way up, his or her way up to being a leader? What is your answer? What is, and I wanna hear from you. So make sure you put the answer, your comments below. I wanna hear from you and I like, every week I'm gonna bring a new question. Next week it's a totally different question, but it's all part of we the team, and I want you to help me write that because I need you. I need to hear from you. I want you to be part of this team that's putting this book together. So I am, I'm asking, please, please contribute. So this week I talked about, well, why, where I'm coming from with this question. It's, it's part, it's a necessary evil. It's kind of to understand where people see where leaders begin and where managers end and where that line is. That's kind of what all of that was about. And then, well, I gave you my answer. I say, yes, yes, you are a leader, but you, you're just a manager until you win everybody over. And once you've won everybody over and everybody is buying into the mission and the vision and what's going on, then and only then can the team truly act, work, function, and deliver success like a team does, especially a cohesive team that's working together cohesive cohesion of course you know there's others that are going to believe that hey no you're the manager you're the leader that's it manager equals leader folks well that's that's their opinion that's how they were brought up that's how they were brought into the system that's how they were taught to lead and probably by other managers not necessarily leaders but managers and you know those times have changed luckily Unfortunately, though, they're still out there. There's still some groups out there. There's still some individuals and still some organizations that believe in that. But then there are others that are strictly, hey, everybody contributes. We become better when we work together. Not when somebody's putting their thumb down on somebody else or somebody's got their heel in somebody's neck. It doesn't work that way. Not when somebody threatens others. It's not how it works. You, you set your expectations, you set your standards, and then you go from there. Folks, Again, I invite you to answer my question. When it comes to team building, do you believe a team leader is a team manager first and then works his or her way up to becoming a leader? My name is Dave Gare. I thank you for watching. I will talk to you real soon.